<laughs> they know so. They say we'll make it right. But show them different. Cause they don't believe in kids. <laughs> Watch this. Get, this. Get, get up on my grind. 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 Got so many people telling me I won't make it. I won't make it. I won't make it. Got so many. What's the deal? Go get her nation. You already know who it is. It's your boy King Des, and I'm with another video. So, as y'all can tell from the title below, I am doing a Q&A. I posted on my Instagram page and uh, Facebook to people to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. No remorse. I don't care what type of question it was, I was going to answer it. So, let's get into the video. No more talking. Oh. So, the first question I got was... What made you want to start doing YouTube? That's an easy one. So what actually made me want to start doing YouTube was I was watching. I mean, I wasn't watching YouTube. I ain't gonna say I was watching, cause I wasn't at the time. I just kept hearing people talking about you should do YouTube. You should do YouTube. Like pe people be drawn to so you, cause you were silly. You you were funny. You like you just you just comical. So I'm like I just thought about it, thought about it, and I'm like, okay, why not just go ahead and do it? Like. Just, just to have fun. So I started doing it, and I fell in love with it. So hope I'm just, just doing it now because it's a passion. I, I love entertaining, even though I don't want to be like an actor or nothing like that. But I just love making people laugh and basically see myself do stuff I enjoy. So that's why. Uh, now this question, somebody, somebody trying to get a little too into shit. But I'm going to answer it anyway. They were like, what do you like in a girl? What do I like in a girl? Hmm. It's a good question. But for on some real shit, though, what I like in a girl is I just like her to be funny, like loving, caring, there for me, uh, as well as open, not so judgmental, and basically... Someone who knows how to have a good time and understand things and basically, how can I put it in all one word? Intelligent, S smart, goofy. Hmm. It's a lot of things I can say about that situation, but I ain't gonna go into detail much detail about that. Just know I, what I like in a female is her to be smart, intelligent, goofy, loving, caring. And outgoing. And and has morals and respectful. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Uh the third question I was asked was What's your favorite sport? I mean, come on now. Everybody who know me know my favorite sport is football. You know, QB. That's my position. But I also love basketball. Uh, what gives you peace? Honestly, to be deep down and truthful about that, what gives me peace is my daughter. Sports. And honestly, tell y'all the truth. Lex. <sighs> uh man. Five. Do you <laughs> do you miss your girl? Honestly, honestly, no, I'm not even joking with y'all. To be honest, yes, I do. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't, and I pretend like I'm um, just don't care. Yes, I miss her. 
much, very much. Sometimes when I go to sleep, this all I can think about is her. To be honest, I'm not, not y'all family, so I'm gonna keep it 100 with my family. Yes, I miss her. Uh, six. What is your biggest fear? Hmm. My biggest fear is failing. To be honest, I don't want to be a failure in life. I don't not want to accomplish none of my goals. Like. I want to accomplish everything I have my heart set to accomplish and my mind set to accomplish, and I'm going to do it. I promise you, I don't care if it takes me 10 years, take me a day, take me 20 years. I don't care if it takes me a lifetime. I'm going to accomplish every single goal I set out for myself, and I promise that. They don't call me a go-getter for nothing because I'm going to get it. You hear me? Number seven, do you see yourself getting married and having a family? Yes, I do. At a point in time, I didn't. Like, I didn't see myself get married. I saw myself never get married, uh, not having a family, but you no, know, just having fun. But then I ended up having a daughter, and that changed my whole mindset for real. Like, I'm not saying me having a son wouldn't have changed my mindset, but me having a daughter really changed my mindset quicker and got me together quicker for simple fact. When you have a daughter and you a man, you think about the stuff a man would do to your daughter and you try not to do it to a woman. For the simple fact, you don't want nobody doing what you do to a woman doing to your girl. So why portray it to your daughter to grow up? You'll see your daughter grow up and knowing this is what to look for in a man. This is what not to accept. This is what to accept. This is what to go about. This is what to do. And that's why I'm trying to be a good father figure and show my daughter that there's a man out here that deserves you and he and don't just give yourself to any man and look for the right things in a man and don't never depend on a man to do everything for you to do it yourself uh and then the last question i'm gonna do because all the other questions i seen was this like some off the wall type of junk and i'm about to answer that job the last question i'm gonna do is what happened to you and Gurley? So, in the video before, if y'all haven't seen that, go check that out. I I explained some things to y'all that while we not together anymore, but I can honestly say I wasn't quite truthful. And one thing I told myself lately is. I'm 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 gonna stop being a pretender and uh be true to myself, cause I lost track of my ways, cause I was heartbroken before. This I'm just gonna put it out there. I changed my a lot of my ways, but I'm going back to my old roots and getting myself back on track. So I wasn't truthful in all the way in the last video. Yes, we did break up. Yes, we did, but it wasn't a mutual thing. I didn't want to break up, but. It was the right thing to do at the time because I seen I was not doing what I was supposed to do as a man. So I had to <clears throat> accept the role of us breaking up because, like I said, I lost track of myself. I, was, I wasn't I was doing like my manly duties, like making sure my woman was straight. Uh, I wasn't keeping up around the house. I wasn't... You no, know, be doing things a man supposed to do for his woman. Say it like that when he is in love, he's there. For simple fact, it's not an excuse, but I I I was just so hard this like I was so fucked up from all the trauma I've been receiving from relationships. I when I finally received received a blessing and someone who really cared about me and loved me, I didn't act I didn't I didn't show that mm, like I should when I felt it, but I didn't show it because I was so scared of being heartbroken again. And I and I led to hurting, like I led to making someone feel like I didn't care. I didn't love them. I didn't want to be here. When that's not the truth. This is me standing here right now in front of all y'all, all around the world, whoever's watching this, telling y'all 
I truly do love Alexis. I truly do care about her, and I truly do want to be with her. Not, I will give my, I will give my heart and soul for that woman any day. So, to end, to sum up that question, what happens to you and girly is basically I happen. Me, me losing track of myself, the real me, the real this. But it, I guarantee you and promise you that will never happen again. I will always be true to myself from here on out. I don't care what the what life brings me, what, what struggles I come across, what, no matter what. I will always be true to myself and make sure I keep things on track with myself, my heart, my significant other, my child. And hopefully one day Lexus do bring, take me back. If she don't, I understand it. But I always love that girl and give her everything she needs. But to end this video, y'all, I love y'all. Thanks for watching this channel. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. I'm going to keep coming with y'all with some good stuff. And I'm out of here. See y'all next time.